if you're new to my channel, um, hey. I'm kind of on a little mission to step up my style game. I just feel like I don't dress super well and I want to spice it up. For my birthday, which was a couple of weeks ago, I got a few gift cards and a bit of money and I was thinking about the ways that I could spend that money and I thought, let's thrift myself a new wardrobe. My rough budget is around $250, which for me, that's a lot of money. Let's get into it. I just parked outside of the first store. This is called Salvo's and it's in St. Peter's. It is absolutely my favorite place to come. This is definitely an op shop. It's not curated at all. This is where most people would donate their clothes. I'll put up some inspo on the screen here so that you can see the kind of items I'm looking for. Let's go. I'm gonna start in the bougie like designer section because I don't usually buy anything from there. <laughs> As I said, I never find cute stuff in this section, but I don't know what the fuck happened. I found the cutest stuff. They had Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger. They also had a lot of 70s inspired pieces. And I found the perfect pair of brown jeans. So honestly, this section was a 10 out of 10 schmood. Everything was affordable and I just had the best time ever. So we love that. Okay, I literally had to come into the changing room because I have so much stuff. I never do well in the boutique, but guys, literally, I found so much stuff that was on my list. I found a Tommy Hilfiger sweater vest. I'm shook. So I'm going to try all of this stuff on and then cull because literally, like, I don't have room <laughs> for anything else. And then I'm going to go back out because I've only been to one section, which is the boutique, which is the most expensive section. I'm shook. I found the perfect pair of brown jeans. Right now, these are the things I'm gonna get rid of. They're actually all so cute. Oh. Lol. Yeah, they're all really cute, um, but because I only shop the boutique right now, everything is kind of expensive. Anyway, now I'm gonna go to the bag section next and let's see what they have there. I'm not gonna grab it, but I found this vintage guest bag for $15. No luck in the bag section. I'm now going to head to the scarf section because they're really cute in your hair but also you can use them as like a little wrap around top. We gotta keep our heads up. We got time. Not loving any of these to be honest. Let's move on. Then I went to the shoe section. I don't know about you guys, but I do get a little bit weird about thrifting shoes. I've only done it once. Didn't find anything there, so moved on to jackets and jumpers. I found some really cute stuff. This is probably one of my favorite sections at thrift stores because I just love a big oversized vintage jacket and there were heaps here. Okay, I've done pants, sweater vests, sweaters, jackets. I found some more cute stuff, but I literally don't know how I'm gonna cut this down. What I wanna do now is go into the men's section. I wanna look for like a big white shirt that I can wear as a dress with sweater vests over the top. I know that look is like last year's thing. You have to remember that in Australia, we're like behind in terms of fashion because of our seasons. Okay, update. I'm back in the changing room. I have so much stuff. That is full. There's like, Oh my god. Also, I found um, vintage Levi's, so I'm keen to try them on because I've never found them here before and they feel amazing. This jacket is so cute, but it's a little bit big. I don't know what to do because it's just like that little bit too big. Oh my god, how cute is it though? If this was green, I would be 100% sold, but I'm just not sure. This skirt feels very like on trend, but I'm just not sure if I like it that much on me. It's a knit, which is obviously really in right now, but I'm not sure. Okay, these Levi's don't fit me. They're quite big, but they are actually the perfect length and the perfect wash. So I'm thinking I might just get them and then get them taken in. And obviously the thing about Levi's is that they last forever, which is why there are so many vintage ones. So um, I think I'm gonna get these. I'm thinking this trend is not for me. <laughs> I look like I'm going to Hogwarts because I have so much cute stuff I have to go through now and figure out what I'm gonna keep what I'm gonna let go of I cannot decide about this skirt and this cardigan like I just can't tell if they're cute or not if I'll wear them or not 
and also I just can't make decisions about literally anything so this is like hurting my brain at this point all right that only took me like an hour but this is what I'm keeping all right let's go pay thank you so much have a great day this is what I got <laughs> I cannot believe how well I just did I am so hot and sweaty oh my god I have never thrifted that well in my entire life I am so excited to show you guys I spent $140 so I still have 110 left of my budget. They had the nicest quality jeans, which like I I go there all the time and they've really only had like skinny jeans or like jeggings, stuff like that. And this time I felt like they had such amazing, like thick quality denim. They had brown jeans, one thrift store down. I don't know how many to go, but I will see you guys when I hit my next thrift store and I can't wait to see what other cute things we buy together it's a new day and i'm so excited to keep going with this video i am like so ready to find some more cute stuff right now i'm in surrey hills i'm actually literally staring into a thrift store right now um this is such a cool suburb and they have this little like cluster of thrift shops these ones are more like curated vintage stores so the prices are generally a little bit higher definitely higher than salvos but often you find cuter pieces because they've obviously done the work for you today i'm definitely looking for more color because i feel like i did so well the other day but like i definitely didn't buy anywhere near as much color as i wanted to let's go i love c's flashback they have the most amazing collection of stuff it definitely feels more vintage than Salvo's for sure. They just have really eclectic stuff. They've got amazing leather jackets, leather blazers, really nice vintage denim, and then just honestly such fun, unique pieces like a lot of crazy sweaters, fur jackets. It's honestly exactly what you picture when you think of a vintage store. They had the cutest stuff. I ended up getting three things, which I'll show you guys later. But yeah, so much cute stuff and actually really reasonable prices as well. So I'm very, very happy with that. U-turn is really popular, but I actually am not sure it's worth the hype because you pay double the price, but you have to look harder because all of their shit is just crammed together. But they did have some cute pieces like these jeans. I also tried on these pants, which I did not like to say the least. And this jumper was so fluffy and lovely. I left U-turn, it was cute. It was very expensive though, but I did end up getting a couple of things obviously so i'm over my budget now now i'm at vinnie's which is my last stop it's an op shop everything's really affordable and i'm just gonna have a quick look um i really feel like i've got everything i could possibly want or need but i'm just gonna hunt here anyway because it was like on my way home and it's really cute r.i.p look at all these tvds back in my car now i got a bun me i'm so fucking excited i also got a matcha let's do a quick taste test the matcha is a 9 out of 10. oh my god this is the bun me i ended up filling up my entire bag with thrifted clothes i'm so excited about everything that i bought we're driving now this guy was waiting for my parking spot and i literally was like not leaving but because i can't be assertive and i can't like say no I just ended up leaving even though it was inconvenient for me so I'm gonna give you guys a thrift haul and a, it's gonna be a try on haul because I hate when people don't try their clothes on so let's do it I am shook when I said a whole new wardrobe I meant a whole damn wardrobe did she lie did she lie did I fucking lie? 
So I'm gonna show you what I got at the first store, which was Salvos. As you guys saw, I definitely did exceptionally well there. I have to start with my favorite ever item, which is this pair of brown jeans. I literally cannot believe that I found these. I wasn't even looking for brown jeans because I just didn't think that it was possible to thrift them. They fit me perfectly. They don't have back pockets, which is a bit weird, but they just honestly look so good on. They're nice and relaxed, nice and baggy, and super comfortable and I literally am just actually in love with these pants. These jeans were $30, which actually just blows my mind. I'll show you what I tried it on with in those clips you guys saw. So I got this black, it's a weird material. It's kind of feels like mesh, but it's not totally see-through. I love the material. Um, this sounds so gross, but it feels kind of like exercise material. And honestly, like I'm kind of a sweaty girl. So to have a material that I can breathe in is actually really quite nice. This was only $10, um, which obviously for Calvin Klein is amazing. I picked up a pair of vintage Levi's, which I told you guys, I have never found these at a thrift shop in Sydney under the price of like $120. They are this kind of like light-ish wash. They are the 504s. I don't know really what that means. I know that the 501s are the ones that everyone is obsessed with, but these are really nice. They're kind of like a straight leg and they're nice and relaxed. I can't get over how amazing these feel the quality is unbelievable I paid $45 for these which I'm so happy with as you guys also saw they don't actually fit me so I need to go and get them tailored but I'm so happy to do that because I think these are just like such an amazing pair of jeans and hopefully they'll last me forever I also picked up two jackets from Salvo's and this first one is the jacket of my dreams. It's just so gorgeous. I love the leopard print. It's very like Y2K, which is obviously super in right now, but also like the actual jacket itself does have that kind of leather blazer vibe, which is also really in and I just love this. And then I also picked up this blue cardigan from Salvos as well. I'm still like iffy about it. I think it looks really cute in the try on clips actually with something tighter underneath. But I mean, cardigans have made a massive comeback. I think the thing that I'm not sure about is the color. So I think I just need to maybe Google some inspo on how to make this look cute. Both of these jackets were $15. The last item, I feel like a lot of people are gonna laugh at me because it is so obviously fake. I picked up this bag. Once I left, I was thinking like, would I have bought this bag if it didn't have the Chanel logo on it. It's also like ripping up, like it's just so obviously fake. But you know what? It made me feel something. And I, I don't necessarily want designer pieces, but I see a lot of people having them and I, it just makes me feel left out. So now I feel like I can just be part of the club, even though she's fake. This was $25, which like, <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted it. I can't really justify it, but I just wanted to be a part of it to be totally honest with you. The next store I went to was C's Flashback and I'm gonna show you what I got from there. Actually, I'm wearing the first item, which is this purpley pink magenta, I guess, turtleneck. This is just so comfortable and I've never owned anything in this color and I just think it's fun, like why not? This jumper just has such a worn in feel. It's the perfect thickness as well. It kind of has more of like just a long sleeve t-shirt feel so it's not fleecy on the inside it's not too hot so I feel like it'll be really good for layering in the winter this jumper was $30 um, which I it's kind of steep to be honest but I don't know I just really liked it the next two pieces are not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but for some reason I just could not leave these things in the store okay so the first piece is just a dad on vacation t-shirt. I know this is really not for everyone. I like the v-neck, I like the collar a lot, and it's just a fun print. It just made me happy in the store and I've never owned anything like this. We'll see if I wear it, but you know what? I just, I didn't wanna leave it behind and I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and this was $25, so not horrible. The last thing I got from that shop is this green top. I don't even know how to describe this. This is one of those pieces that you just see and you're like, I'm never going to see a piece like that ever again in a thrift shop. So I literally had to buy it. The material is so beautiful. It's 
such a nice green and I love the shine, like the satin finish or whatever. Some things that I don't like about this top is the neckline is really, really high. So I was thinking of cutting it along this seam so that it just had a bit more of like a lower and wider neckline and then also as you can see the bottom band is really really long and low and i prefer more of a cropped top especially if i'm wearing a piece like as dramatic as this one this top was 35 dollars um, but it truly is so unique and this really reminded me of something that like best dressed would buy this and make it look a million dollars so i just need to figure out how to a have that confidence and b have that styling ability because I'm definitely not there. So now we're on to the last store, which was U-Turn. The first thing I got is just this big scarf. I was envisioning wearing this as a headscarf. I have literally no idea how to do that, but I've seen a couple of people wear headscarves and they look so stunning. Um, but if I don't end up doing that, I can also wear it as a top or I can use it as a hair ribbon, which I love doing with these scarves. I highly recommend always going to the scarf section when you thrift because if you like the print, you can, it's, they're so versatile and usually relatively cheap. This one was actually $10. The last thing I got in that shop is this amazing navy blue fluffy jumper. It is the most comfortable thing I've ever worn. This is by a brand called Veronica Main. I didn't know who they were, but I Googled them and it seems like a lot of their clothes are quite expensive. So I think I got this for 45. I know I'm trying lots of fun things with my new wardrobe, but also I do just love to wear simple colors and all of that. So I thought this would be a very, very practical piece to buy for the winter. That is everything. My box is empty. My total came to $285 which is actually only 35 over budget and honestly less than I thought that I would spend. I am so happy, I'm so grateful. And if you guys have any thrift stores around you, please go. I know it's like not realistic to never buy fast fashion again and I definitely do still buy fast fashion items occasionally, but if we can all just thrift a little bit more, I think we would actually make quite a big impact. Um, and also you can just find the cutest pieces. So if you do go thrifting, let me know what you buy and let me know which piece was your favorite. I love the brown jeans 100%. I'm just, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this one was a long one. I hope you enjoyed it though. And I will see you next Sunday with a new video. Bye.